hello everyone outside there watching us on B10 TV. Uh, this time round again, I'm back in the studio for another lesson in mathematics. My name I'm Teacher Fred from Wisdom Center, that is from Bujasela side, always taking you through mathematics lessons. So at this time round, I'm back in the studio, continuing from where we ended. For those who have been following us, they know where we ended and they know where we are. We were you handling unit six and we are now coming to the end of it. As we come to the end of it, I encourage whoever is still outside there, make sure you be making a follow up on this work that we are doing. So from there, let's look at today's lesson. I'm going to take you still on mixtures. Previously we looked about mixtures and they are the same mixtures we are still looking at. So let's look at the unit that we are handling today and the sub topic of today. The subtopic that we're handling today is finding finding the price of one type. For those who have been following us, I explained about the word mixture and you know what we went through in the previous lesson or previous lessons. We were given different types and we were asked to find the unit cost of the mixture sometimes the amount of the mixture and we looked at that so today i want us to continue from where we were and this time around we want to look for the price of one unit in case they have given you two types and in those two types they have given you only the price for one type then they have given you the prices for the mixture so what is missing is the unity cost for one type so is what we want us to look at Let's look at example one and see what does it say. It is saying, example one says, Cynthia from P6 class at Wisdom Center School mixed 20 kilograms of peas, which costs 150 francs per kilo, with 30 kilograms of another type. So those are the two types that we have already identified. The first type, it was costing 50, 150 francs. The second type, it is costing us, the second type, they have not given us the amount it is costing, but they have given us the quantity of the second type. So we shall continue with our question and see what does it require us to do. They said find the unit cost of the second type if the mixture costs 90 are 90 francs each kilo. So in this case, they have given us the amount of the first type of piece. At the same time, they have also given us the quantity of piece of the first type. Then in addition to that, when you look at our question, they have also given us the quantity of the second type, but they have not given us the amount that each kilogram of the second type costs. So what does it mean? They, will, they required us to look for that amount that you can pay for only one kilogram of the second type. In addition to that, when we come to the, uh, the, the question, still they said, out of the mixture, 90 francs, only 90 francs is being paid for one kilogram of a mixture. So the only thing we need to do first of all is to identify every unit and every commodity accordingly. Then we see what is missing. We shall just use the same table like the one we drew yesterday or previously in the other lesson we handled. Then from there we shall come to balance and we see what is missing. So without wasting time we shall come here and say, I'll come to the solution. And the first thing here, we have to identify what we call the type. So when we come to the type, we have piece. Then they said we have another type. That is the second type now. Then when you get the piece which was given, plus the second type, we shall come out with a mixture. We shall come out with a mixture. This is how the table is going to be arranged. 
from there I will use my ruler and draw this you who is outside there you are supposed to use a ruler don't use a free hand after underlining this after making my table or drawing my table there I'll now be required to identify the quantity of each item we need to identify the quantity of piece that we're given at the same time we need to identify the quantity of another type of piece which was not specified so we shall come here and say after type we shall come to look for quantity so when we come to quantity quantity simple and meaning the number of kilograms that are allocated on each type of piece the first type how many kilograms and the other type has how many kilograms as well then from there we shall need to identify also the number of mixture or the amount of the mixture so when we come to piece the question said sent here from p6 class at wisdom center mixed 20 kilograms of piece so piece was identified or is identified as a 20 kilograms so i'll come here and identify piece as 20 kilograms that is the number of piece that she mixed then from there we shall continue and identify more they said which costs 150 so they are saying here when you look at this they have given us the unity price of piece they have given us the unit price of piece then we continue per kilo they said with 30 kilograms of another type so they mixed with 30 kilograms of another type and that third, uh, that 30 kilograms will be identified as other type so i'll come here and identify it as a 30 kilograms so we've already identified the quantity of type a at the same time we have identified the quantity of type b what do i mean by a when i say identifying the type a a i'm representing it by piece or oh, i've already identified the quantity of piece and the quantity of piece is the same as 20 kilograms at the same time we have also to identify the quantity of another type just like the way they identified it they said 30 kilograms of another type so another type is worth a 30 kilograms according to what we have seen so when you look at this we have piece that is section a at the same time we have another type so for us to come out with the mixture we shall get piece we mix up with another type of piece that we are given so when you get 20 kilograms we mix with 30 kilograms how many kilograms shall we come out with that's what they are meaning by the mixture quantity or the quantity of a mixture we shall have to get quantity of piece plus quantity of another type then it will give us the quantity of a mixture it will give us the number of kilograms that the mixture is made up of because one type we know it has 20 kilograms another type we know it has 30 kilograms so if we identify the two kilo uh, we identify the two types with their quantities and we need to bring them together we mix them up we put them in a tin and we mix them up when we mix them up the two of them then what we shall come out with is what we call a mixture now as you mix them the number of kilograms will not change instead they will only increase they will not change for instance we have 20 kilograms of piece when you mix up still piece will remain with the 20 kilograms and another type will remain with 30 kilograms so when we mix the two we shall come out with 50 kilograms when you mix we shall add the kilograms so we shall have kilograms as units then we say zero plus zero it will give us zero then two plus five uh, three it will give us five so here we are already in a position to identify the quantity of a mixture and we have identified the quantity of a mixture as 30 kilograms 
After identifying the quantity of the mixture as 30 kilograms, we shall also go further and now identify the unity price of each item. And when I talk about each item, I'm meaning piece, atomic type, then at the same time we need also mixture. So I want us to identify their unit cost. How much was each kilogram costing concerning, uh, basing on what the statement they have given us. When you look at type A, in the statement, we're now coming to find the amount that one person can spend on only one kilogram of piece. Or how much was it sold at is what we're looking at. According to our question, the question said, sent here from P6 class at Wisdom Center, mixed 20 kilograms of P's, which costs 150 per kilo. So it means all the 20 kilograms were costing 150 per kilo. So one kilogram is equal to 150 francs. And we shall identify that amount as unit cost. So I'll come here to the second column, I will say, unit cost. Unit cost. Unit cost is the amount spent on only one kilogram. It's what I'm trying to mean by saying unit cost. How much do you spend on one kilogram of peas if you want to buy only peas? How much can you spend on one kilogram of the other type if you want to buy one? So at the same time after that, we shall need to also identify how much can one person spend on a mixture if you want a mixture of only one kilogram. That's what we're meaning by unit cost. So we shall identify unit cost as 150 francs. The amount that you pay for only one kilogram is what we're calling unit cost. Then from there, we shall continue with our statement. After reaching here, they said, with 30 kilograms of another type. So here they have not given us the unit cost for another type, according to the question. And it is what they are asking us to find out. They said, find the unit cost of the second type. So this is the second type, the other type, that they require us to find the unit cost. And there is no way we can find the unit cost here when we don't have it in the statement. So what we need to do, we have first of all to fill the other spaces. When you finish, then we shall be in position to come out with the unity cost of everything. So let's continue with the statement. Since it is not given, we shall say another type. Find the unity cost of the second type if the mixture cost 90 francs each kilogram. So they have told us, or they have identified for us, the amount that one kilogram of the mixture is costing, and that is 90 francs. So that's the amount that when somebody wants to buy only one kilogram of a mixture, is supposed to pay 90 francs. That is a mixture now. Okay? Then from there, we need to find out in case somebody is taking 20 kilograms, how much can that person pay? If you are taking only a piece, 20 kilograms, how much can you pay? We shall say, for us to be in position to identify the amount that one person can pay for only that, we shall have to get the quantity times unit cost. Quantity times unit cost. Then what we shall come out with, it will be amount. So we shall come here and say total amount. So when I talk about the total amount, total amount I'm meaning how much can you spend on all these kilograms? In case you want 20 kilograms of peas, how much is a person supposed to spend on? Because we know one kilogram is equal to 150. But at this time, they are not after one kilogram. We now want to find the amount that one person can spend on 20 kilograms if one kilogram is sold at 150. So for us to get the amount that can be spent on one kilogram, we shall get the quantity times unit cost. So here we shall have 
20 times 150 francs, which will give us 3. You'll get 2 times 15, that will give us 30. Then we count the number of zeros that are existing. 1, 2. So we shall have 3,000 francs. Now, if somebody needs only one type, if you want only peace, and you required or you are required to purchase 20 kilograms, somebody will spend 3,000. But when we continue with the question, when we look at the second type, we don't have anything. So let's look at the amount that a person who is interested to take 50 kilograms of a mixture, when they have already mixed up and you need to buy 50 kilograms, how much are you supposed to pay? Because they have told us, according to the summary we have made here, one kilogram of a mixture will be costing you 90, uh, 90 francs. So if you are paying 90 francs for the mixture, how much do you think you will pay for the whole mixture if you take 50 kilograms? For us to, to find the amount that somebody is required to pay for all the 50 kilograms of the mixture, we shall get the mixture quantity times the unity cost of a mixture. Then there we shall come out with 50 as the quantity of a mixture. Because the quantity here, we have come out with the 50. So we shall get this 50 times the amount that you spend on one kilogram. So we shall multiply by 90 francs. And what we shall come out with, it will be francs. As, and uh, it will come as the amount to be spent on the whole mixture. So when I look at that, we shall say 5 times 9. It will give us 45. 5 times 9, it will give us 45. Then how many zeros are here? We have two zeros. So I'll come and add my two zeros. I'll call this francs. So what does this mean? This is what is implementing, or it is uh, its implication. Uh, when you want to buy 50 kilograms of a mixture, you'll pay 4,500. But if you want only one kilogram of a mixture, you will pay only 1,000. I mean, you will pay, uh, you'll pay only 90, not 1,000. You will pay 90 if you want only one kilogram of a mixture. At the same time, if you need to buy 50 kilograms of a mixture, you will pay 4,500. 4,500. But if you required it to pay, for another type. Now, you want another type. We don't have the unit cost of another type. We don't have the total amount. So we need to look at the question, what it was requiring us to do. They said, find the unit cost of the second type. So they want us to find the unit cost of the second type. This is now the unit cost that they want us to find. Here, we don't have anything. And they want us to tell them, how much can you sell one type? Or how much was one type, that second type, that type that was not identified, how much was it costing per kilo? So after identifying that, then you shall be in position also to tell how much did that person spend on 30 kilograms in case you bought only one type of a mixture. Right? So we shall look at this. For us to be in position to find the unit cost of another type, for us to find what is here, we shall first of all look for the amount which was spent on uh, this 30 kilogram. And how are we going to find that amount? When we come to amount here, how are we going to find this amount? We know very well that this mixture is made up of only two types and if it was made out of two types then you realize that one type is given and the total amount spent on the mixture is also given so we are going to get the amount of which was spent on the mixture that is 45,000 I mean we, yeah we shall have 4,500 4,500 the amount that was spent on the mixture 
Then we subtract the amount of the first type. Remember when you get the first type plus the second type, you have to come out with the money which is worth uh, the total mixture. So we shall get 4,000, I mean we shall get 4,500 francs. We subtract 3,000 of the first type, such that what we are going to remain with, it will be the amount for the second type of piece. So I'll subtract here 3,000, I'll write here 0, I'll follow the place values. This 0 should be written under this 0. This 0 should also be written under this 0. This 0 should be written under 5. And the 3 should be written under 4. Always begin from the side of 1s. Don't begin from 1000s. When you begin from 1000s, the arrangement may not be clear. Hence, you will end up by coming out with a wrong answer. So we want us to find out how much do you think was spent on the second type. If the first type you spent there 3,000 and the mixture was requiring 4,500. We shall subtract it by saying, we shall, remain, we shall maintain the units. Here the answer must be in units because it is, going, it, is, uh, it is talking about money. So if it is talking about money, we have to maintain the units. Then we shall say, zero take away zero, we shall have zero. Zero take away zero, we shall have zero. Five take away zero, we shall have five. Four take away three, we shall have one. So what does this mean? When you look at this summary that we've made down here, you realize that 30 kilograms of the other type was costing 1,500. So I will come here and I say, here it was costing 1,500 francs. Remember, when you get the amount of the first type plus the amount of the second type, it has to give you the amount of a mixture. And at the same time, when you are given a mixture and you subtract the first, uh, you first, you subtract the first type, you have to get the amount of the second type. If you are given a mixture, then you subtract the second type. The amount you will come with should be for the first type. That's what it happens. If this is what I'm meaning, if you want to find the amount of piece, if you want to find the amount of piece amount amount of peace if you are not given here amount and you want to find this amount then you'll get the mixture you'll get the mixture the amount spent on a the mixture then you take away the amount spent on the other type and which type is that that is the second type so we shall subtract the next type or the other type so once you subtract this, what you will come out with, you will come out with the amount that was spent on the first type, that is piece. Then from there, if you want to find the amount of the other type, just the way it is, I will say amount of the other type, amount of the other type, of the other type, amount of the other type I'll come and get my amount that I spend on the mixture so I'll have the mixture minus the amount which was spent on the first item that was piece so we shall have to take away amount which was spent on piece but when they ask you to find the amount of a mixture what happens finding the amount of the mixture I'll say amount amount of a mixture how do we find the amount of a mixture if i want to find the amount of the mixture what it is very simple what you do get the amount spent on the first type plus the amount which was spent on the second type the amount you will come out with it will be the amount of a mixture so i'll have amount spent on peas plus amount spent on the other type. So I want us to look at this statement that I've summarized here. When you look at the first statement, we have said, if you want to find the amount of peace, 
get the amount spent on mixture and how much was spent on mixture it was 4500 then subtract the amount which was spent on another type on another type and according to what we have worked out we realize that another type is 1500 so if you get the amount spent on a mixture minus the amount spent on another type you will come out with the amount which was spent on piece that is 30000 then when you look at this, let's say if you want to find the amount of the sec uh, this second type, the other, we shall get the amount, amount of the mixture minus the amount of uh, piece. When you subtract, when you get this minus this, you will come out with this amount. But when you want to find the amount of the mixture, how much does one person spend on a mixture? What are we supposed to do? For you to be in order to find the amount that somebody spends on this mixture, we shall have to get the amount which was spent on the first item or the first type plus the amount which was spent on the second type. And our first type, it had 3,000. Then the second type, we have found out that this person spends there 1,500 which will give us a total of 4,500. Now let's go back to our question. What does the question wants us to do? The question is demanding us to find the unity cost of the second type if the mixture cost 90 francs each kilogram. So we have realized the amount that is spent on the mixture we have known the amount that is spent on the other type. Now we need the unity cost. For us to find the unity cost, if you want anything which is missing here, let's summarize here. We shall say, we shall say, if you want to find out unity cost, if you want to find out unit, unit cost, what do you do if you want to find out unit cost? For you to find out unit cost, if somebody demands this, we shall say, to find unit cost, we shall have amount divided by quantity. Quantity. So this is what is supposed to be done. If I want to find if I want to find the cost, I will say amount divided by quantity. That is the method of finding unity cost. At the same time, when you want to find, when you want to find amount, when you want to find the amount, simple, you'll just say, amount is equal to we shall get this unit cost times quantity we shall say unit unit cost times quantity somebody is yet to ask me where did you get this quantity from and this multiplication from we are just substituting this once you have this method you have everything for instance here if I want to find the amount, I can as well just say, finding amount, it will be equal to, there is amount here. We know very well that finding unit cost, unit cost is equal to amount, is equal to amount divided by quantity. So, if they ask you to find out, you know this is the method of finding unit cost, but you want to find out the amount. They have given you this, they have given you this, then they want you to find the amount. What you do is, just come here and say, this unit cost will be out of one. So what do they want? They want us to, make, to find the amount. So meaning that we are going to make the amount the subject of the formula. So we shall cross multiply. Then we come out with the formula of finding the amount whereby I will, I will have one times amount, which will give us amount, which will give us amount is equal to, so we shall get one times amount, which will give us quantity times, a uh, unit cost times quantity is equal to unit, 
unit cost times quantity. This is how we come out with the formula of finding amount. Once you have unit cost method is enough for you to be in a position to find anything they ask. So we shall use the same method just like they have done here. Unit cost will be equal to amount after the out of this. Now when they want amount, we just make this the subject and we shall come out with amount as unit cost times unit or times quantity. So we shall say amount amount is equal to unit cost times quantity. That is how we come out with amount. So in case you are given here and they want you to find out what is, what is supposed to be here, they just get unit cost times quantity. You will come out with the, what is required here. But in case you are given uh, amount at the same time you are given quantity and you want to find unit cost you just get the amount divided by quantity just like we have given it here but at the same time they can give you total amount and unit cost then they ask you to find out the quantity so for you to find the quantity if you want to find quantity if you want to find quantity which formula are we going to use to find the quantity? I will still use the same method, which we have, uh, the same formula which they gave us up here. I will say, I will say quantity will be equal to quantity. Now you want this. You have, you have given the amount and you are given the unit cost. You want now to find the quantity. For you to find the quantity, you will also have the amount which you have been given divided by cost price or I mean unit cost unit cost that's how you'll come out with if you are given if they want you to find unit cost it will be amount divided by quantity if you want to find the amount you'll have unit cost times quantity if you want to find the quantity you'll have amount divided by unit cost. Then from there, let's look at what they want us to do according to our question. Our question is requiring us to find the unit cost of another type. So I will say unit cost of another type, another type. So they want us to find unit cost of another type. And remember our type, we are finding unity cost. You have to put in mind that a unity cost is the cost for only one kilogram of that item. That's what we mean by unity cost. But we know the amount that you can spend on 30 kilograms. So for us to find the amount that will cost one kilogram, we shall say unity cost unit cost will be equivalent to amount divided by quantity amount divided by quantity so let's look at this what is our amount when you come to the second type they have said it had a quantity of 30 and the amount of 1,500. So we shall have 1,500 francs divided by the number of kilograms. He or she, uh, the number of kilograms she mixed. So I'll divide by 30. This 30 is coming from here. So I'll say, I'll come to divide this. I'll say this zero will go away with this zero. Then we say by three, one, by 3. 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3. It will give us 5. So when you come to this, we shall find out that our unit cost for the second type is equal to 50 francs. Is equal to 50 francs. 
So after identifying it as 50 francs, I'll come here and write here 50 francs. 50 francs. After writing 50 francs, I'll also just first of all go through and I see if I've gone through and my answer is right or it is not right. How can you prove this? Just get your 30 kilograms, multiply it by 50. If you get 30 times 50, if it gives us the answer as 1,500, then that becomes the exact amount that can be spent on only one kilogram of the other type. Meanwhile, let's look at the second example. And we relate with this one. Using a different method, we see if we can come out with the same. Or else still, we can just have the second method on this very example. Let's have the second method on this very example. Then, so what to do? This is now method A. One, before we go to example two, let's use this. This is our method one. For those who are following us outside there, then, after viewing this first example the way it is, and the first method, the way it has been arranged, it may look somehow simple for you to use a table. But somebody else may also feel like a table is becoming complicated for him or her. That's why I would require, or it will require me, to go to the second method. Then you choose the one you feel it is better for you to handle out this mixture in case a number appears in an examination concerning mixtures asking you the price of one item you must be able or you must be in position to give what is required so the second method the second method of a number we shall first of all identify our items and our items, according to the question, we have the first type as piece. So I'll come here and I first identify the first type. That is a first. So we are on the second method. We shall say first a type. First type, we have piece. First type, we have piece. How many kilograms? Where are we given of peas, according to our question? According to the question, it said, sent here from P6 class at Wisdom Center, mixed 20 kilograms so of peas. Meaning that the first type, this piece were 20 kilograms. According to our question, peas, we had 20 kilograms. And from there, they didn't stop there. They continued on the same statement and said, which cost 150 francs per kilo. So, piece only. They were 20 kilograms. And out of those 20 kilograms, you realize that one kilogram was costing 150 francs. So, I'll say, if one kilogram was costing one kilogram of this piece, was costing us 150 francs. Then ask yourself, how much will cost 20 kilograms? Or how much will 20 kilograms cost? We need to find the amount that you can spend on 20 kilograms. If you can spend 150 on only one kilogram. So, we shall say, for us to be in position to find the amount, that one person can spend on 20 kilograms of peas, whereby one kilogram is costing 150, we shall have to multiply 150 with the 20 kilograms before we come out with the amount of 20 kilograms. So we shall say 20 kilograms will be equivalent to 20 times 100. 50. All this should be in francs. Why do we multiply with 150? We are multiplying with 150 because 150 is the amount of one kilogram or is the amount of a unit 
cost. Unit cost, we said unit cost is simply mean the amount spent on only one item or one kilogram. So at this moment, we know we bought 20, or oh, this person sent here mixed 20 kilograms. So if she mixed 20 kilograms, it means we shall have the amount of one kilogram as 150 times 20 kilograms that she mixed. So we shall come out with 2 times 15, it will give us 30. After identifying 30, we shall come and count the number of zeros which are here. So I'll say 0, 0, they are 2. 1, 2. Francs. So 20 kilograms of peas were costing 3,000. And for you to prove that it was 3,000, if you want to prove that you have multiplied rightly or wrongly here, just come aside and say, I have 150. If you don't want to multiply, they have multiplied. Say I have 150 times 20 kilograms. You can also have your side work. Then you say 0 times 0, it will give us 0. 0 times 5, 0. 0 times 1, 0. Then we come to the second number, that is 2. And under which place value? It is under the place value of tens. So if it is under the place value of tens, simply you cannot start from ones. We are going also to start from tens because we are dealing with the digits which lies under the place value of tens. So we shall say 2 times 0. It will have to give us zero. Two times five, it will give us ten. Ten we shall write zero. We regroup one. Then we say two times one, it will give us two. Plus one, it will give us three. Then from there, we shall have to add. When you add this, zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Then here we have three. Then I will put my comma there. So you realize that whether you use this method or you also multiply direct here, we shall come out with the same answer. But when you are not sure of multiplying this and adding zeros in front, don't use this. Use the method that you understand better. Another person can also as well say 150. Instead of multiplying by 20 here, instead of multiplying by 20, instead of multiplying by 20, first cancels this zero and adds it here. After adding that zero up there, what do you remain with? You remain with the two. So you come and multiply by two. So you say two times zero, it will give us zero. Two times zero, it will give us zero. Two times five, it will give us ten. Ten we shall write zero and we regroup one. Two times one, two plus one, it will give us three. So you can use any. You can either use this method to multiply out directly. If you don't want to use this, in case you are not very sure of this method of multiplying directly, you can come out and use this very method. It may take a long time, but at the same time, you are not after time, you are after understanding. So you can use this if you are not sure of this. But if you are not sure of the two, you can also as well use this. If you are not sure of this, don't use it. Use the method that you understand better. Out of the three, choose one that you understand better. So from there, we shall continue. After identifying the amount that was spent on the first type of peas as 3,000, so we shall have to come to the second type. Shall say, second, second type. So we have come to the second type. Second type, they didn't identify the name, they just said the other. So I'll say other. Just like it is reflected in a question. How many kilograms did these people uh, mix up? You'll find out that the question said sent here from primary six at Wisdom Center mixed 20 kilograms of peas, which cost 150 francs per kilo, which are with 30 kilograms of the other type with 30 kilograms. So the other type had 30 kilograms. That was the second type. Then from there, we shall continue and say, 30 type was costing this. Had they given us any amount? No. So we shall say, if this is 30 kilograms, how much were they selling one kilogram? Do we know it? 
No, it is what they want us to work uh, to find out. So since we don't have this, we shall just continue to the next step. We say, let's now come to the next step, which will be mixture. Mixture. So with the mixture, when we come to the mixture, you will require to have the quantity of the first type, then we add the quantity of the second type before we come out with the, the mixture. So we, ha we shall have 20 kilograms plus 50, uh, 30 kilograms. Where are we getting 20 kilograms? 20 kilograms are got from here. Piece, the, uh, this person mixed 20 kilograms. That is the 20 kilograms I'm writing here. Then where am I getting 30 kilograms? 30 kilograms is for the other type which they didn't identify. So the other type was costing us how much? It was costing us, uh, it was measuring 30 kilograms. And when we sum up, we shall come out with 50 kilograms. So, the whole mixture was weighing 100, uh, it was weighing 50 kilograms. But from there still, we shall say one kilogram of a mixture we know now the mixture is having 50 kilograms. But how much is one kilogram of a mixture? We need to know that. According to the question, they said find the unit cost of the second type if the mixture cost 90 francs each kilogram. Meaning that every kilogram is costing us 90 francs. So I would say one kilogram of a mixture will be equivalent to 90 francs. That is the amount that you can spend on, our, on only one kilogram of a mixture. Only one. You have to spend 90 francs. Then from there, ask yourself, if somebody wants one kilogram of a mixture, will you pay 90 francs? What about if somebody wants to take all the 50 kilograms of a mixture? Then we shall come out with 50 kilograms of a mixture will be costing, remember one kilogram will be costing us for our 90 francs times 50 kilograms. We have to multiply with the 50 kilograms because you want 50. So after there, we shall come out with the 4,500 francs. That is now the amount spent on a mixture. Now for us to be in position to tell the amount which was spent on the second type. Amount spent on the second type. I will say amount. Amount spent on the other type. So we want to identify here. The amount that was spent on this second type here, how much was spent here. But remember, we say that for us to find the amount spent on the other type, second type, amount which was spent on the second type, this was the first type, this is the second type. For us to find that amount, we shall get the amount of the mixture, amount of the mixture, amount of the mixture. Let me write it in short form because of the nature of my chalkboard that I'm using. So I'll say amount of a mixture minus first type. Minus first type. So I want us to find the amount. We, we first get the amount of the mixture and we have identified our amount of a mixture as 4,500. So we shall get 4,500 4, francs. That is the amount spent on a mixture only. We take away the amount spent on the first type. Remember we have already identified the first type here. We said our first type was 20 kilograms and all the 20 kilograms will cost us 30, uh, it will cost us 3,000. So we shall take away 3,000 francs. 
Once you take out 3,000 francs, the amount we are coming out with here, it will be the amount for the second item or second type or uh, another type, which will give us 1,500 francs. This is now the amount spent on the second type or the other type. It is, it is the second type which they have mentioned in the question or the statement as in the, sec, uh, the other type. So after identifying the amount that was spent on 30 kilograms, we have now to find out the amount that was spent on only one kilogram. That is what the question wants us to do. So from there, we shall come to find, we shall come out to find out the unit cost of the second type. So I'll say unit cost, unit cost, unit cost of the second type, unit cost of the second type is what we need to find out. For us to find out the unit cost of the second type, we shall have amount we shall have amount spent on that type divided by quantity like i've just explained earlier we shall have amount divided by quantity when we get the amount and we divide by the quantity we shall come out with the unit price or the amount that was spent on one kilogram. In simple terms, what does this mean? This is what they are talking of. If you have to go and buy 30 kilograms of the second type, you pay only 1,500. That is 30 kilograms. What about if 30 kilograms is equal to 1,500? What about only one kilogram? For us to identify the amount that you can spend on only one kilogram, we shall need to get the amount for 30 kilograms, we divide by 30 kilograms. After dividing by 30 kilograms, the amount we shall come out with will be for only one kilogram. So we shall get our amount, we shall come out with our amount, which is 1,500 francs. Divide by, that's our amount, divide by the quantity. Quantity, we are meaning kilograms. How many kilograms? Did this second pass or did the send your mix for the second type? Second type had 30 kilograms. So we shall say divide by 30. Then from there we shall say this zero. We'll go off with this zero. By three, one. By three. Five. So the unit cost for the second, uh, second, uh, second type will be thirty. I mean fifty francs. It will be fifty francs. Is what we have identified. Then from there, I will underline this. So the second type, the unit cost of the second type, is giving us fifty francs that is the amount that when you want to go and buy only one kilogram of the second type you will end up by paying only 50 francs but at the same time if you want to buy 50 uh, 30 kilograms of the second type you will pay only if you want to take 30 you will pay 1500 but if they first get the, uh, if they come up with the first type and they mix with the second type, the first type had 20 kilograms, the second type had 30 kilograms. When they bring the 20 and the 30 together, we shall come up with a mixture of 50 kilograms. Once we come out with the mixture of 50 kilograms and they mix it up, once it's well mixed, once you, it was well mixed and you want to buy only one kilogram from that mixture, you'll be paying only 90 francs when after them mixing up. But if you want to buy all the 50 kilograms, you'll pay only 4,500. That is what it means by that number. So without wasting a lot of time, 
in case you feel like there is any question you want to pose or you want to ask you want to make an inquiry i would easily refer you to my inbox in case of anything that like you want to ask any question related to this you can just send a whatsapp number and ask your question once you post your question it will be answered if you're not using whatsapp still you can just use direct messages as you find out whatever you feel like you are not contented with or there is any kind of a comment please over the lesson you can go ahead and inbox what changes are required you can inbox and advise where necessary where we need to add where we need to subtract please you are allowed to send it there on addition to that without wasting a lot of time allow me to take this initiative to appreciate the staff of btn and the wisdom center for this program that is reaching our candidates outside there i believe all candidates who are following us you are benefiting from it stay tuned always as you wait for exercise i want to put for you here some three numbers and work them out when schools open you'll give them to your teacher and will mark you so you can also continue with this you can also have this activity and do it just like you have been advised to do for those who have been following us they know where we ended so when you look at the first activity it is only one number you have also to try this and see from there if and prove yourself actually if you've passed or you failed uh, the question says mama and you mixed 60 liters of honey which cost 4500 francs per liter with 90 liters of another quality of honey which costs 4200 francs per liter calculate the average price per liter of a mixture so they want you to calculate the average price of a mixture here you are given already amount that is spent on every liter so this cannot be an obstacle i believe you'll do it according to the way we have been doing it since following even lessons of yesterday in a relationship with this as i also advise you to follow our journals they have everything concerning this and uh, you may also have feel like you need to have a copy of this very type of work just simply subscribe btn journals you'll find everything there check on their facebook accounts check on their twitter accounts you realize that everything you will need even if you came late you switch to your tv on late you'll find everything there meanwhile i encourage everyone who is outside there that is watching us on btn tv to always keep in touch with us always follow our lessons always follow the program that comes out with this, this btn tv actually they have programs that are so fruitful on our site sometimes in most cases there are programs that are there for our own benefit for instance this education program it is for our own benefit not anyone's benefit please if you're a candidate and you're outside there watching always keep in touch S make sure you always switch on btn tv view everything as long as you have time and you feel like you want to watch just simply go and switch on generally direct to btn tv for different programs that may be so essential on your side may be so fruitful may be very important actually whatever is there i believe is very okay for our sake i wish you well as we summarize the lesson tomorrow we meet stay home